Hello, I'm uh, uh, Dr. Ian Heath, the Senior Physician Director for the Psychiatry Service Line, and thank you for watching this video. It's going to be a very brief talk about ECT. So ECT, or electroconvulsive therapy, uh, is a treatment modality that was invented in the 1930s by Dr. Ugo Gelletti, an uh, Italian neuroscientist uh, who first used electricity uh, to elicit a therapeutic seizure. Uh, historically, it was used in the treatment of schizophrenia, psychotic disorder. ECT fell out of favor in around the 1950s when the psychotropic medications were brought to market. Uh, ECT uh, also was um, oftentimes, uh, there was a lot of misperception about it. Uh, people didn't understand it. And uh, when you talk of ECT, most people, of course, think of uh, various products out of Hollywood. 60, 70, 80 years later now, uh, from Dr. Charletti's time, we're now seeing a massive resurgence in the use of uh, ECT. Why? ECT has proven uh, many times through many studies to be more effective than many of the psychotropic medications. It can also be a, a useful adjunct to the psychotropic medications, as well as various refinements in anesthesiology and the actual technique uh, means it has a much more favorable side effect profile than it did historically. In the United States, about 50,000 people uh, receive ECT per uh, year. ECT predominantly is used for the treatment of depression. However, it can be used in various other ailments, inclusive of manic depression, as well as uh, as an adjunct in treatment refractory schizophrenia. Uh, ECT is done in our post anesthesia care unit here at uh, HCMC. Um, what occurs is that the patient is brought down to the post anesthesia care unit and an IV is put in place. The patient's administered uh, both an anesthetic and then a muscle relaxant. And when they're asleep and the muscles are relaxed, uh, the electrical stimulus is then passed uh, across the brain via just two handheld paddles. Um, a, a very attenuated seizure is the result, and it's through the seizure that we are able to obtain the therapeutic effect, which is believed uh, related to a release of a series of neurochemicals in the brain. Uh, the entire procedure lasts approximately five minutes, so it is uh, quite rapid. Here at Hanover County Medical Center, we do approximately 3,000 ECT treatments per year. We have remodeled the post-anesthesia care unit, the uh, uh, recovery area for outpatient ECTs, as well as have uh, created an ECT clinic uh, via which we're able to follow uh, patients throughout their course of treatment, whether it be solely a, a short series of ECT treatments or ongoing maintenance therapy. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. Thank you.